Hey, what's up guys? John from Promo Weapon. Back with another Photoshop tutorial. This one's going to be about black knockout with halftones for DTF. A pretty popular request, so I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of blab. Thank you for being here. Let's jump into Photoshop and check this out. So let's switch back over to the computer here. And let's open Photoshop. Alright, so I downloaded this image from freepick.com, I think, or .net, one of the two. And, and I chose it because it has some gray in it. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is learn how to do a quick black knockout with halftones. And so the gray areas are going to be halftoned, and, and the brighter areas will print solid color, of course. So the first step in this, this is going to be real easy, guys. Follow me. Right click. Well, first of all, you need to merge down to one layer with a black background. That's going to work easiest. So once you get that, also, before we start, make sure your image is 300 dpi. And let me double check mine. Yeah, 300. So if you need to upsample that or resample that, then go for it. And then come back and let's do this. All right. So let's right click the layer, duplicate layer. Under destination, let's choose new. And basically, that just duplicates. Your, file, your layer into a new file. Once we have that, let's go to Image, Mode, Grayscale, Discard Color Information, yes. And now, Control Command L to get your Levels dialog. These sliders here that you see, one, two, three, this is your highlights, this is your midtones in the middle, and this is your shadows on the end. What we're going to do is grab the right word highlight slider and pull it to the left until we want until everything we have that is solid white will print as a solid color and anything gray is going to come out as a half tone so any areas of this image that you want to print solid just pull that slider like that flower in the middle I wanted that to print like be bold and vibrant so I'm going to pull that to where that's super bright and the midtone slider I'm going to pull to the left a little to bring in more of that as well I only want a little bit of half tones, so I think I'm going to go with something like that. If you don't like the results once you get back over to your original, you can always come back in and do this. It's, it's super simple. Just follow the video again if you need to. All right. So once we get here and we like what we've done with our levels, let's go to Image Mode Bitmap and Flatten Layers. And We've already done, we've made sure our image was 300 dpi, so that's what we got on output here, or PPI. Under method, let's use halftone screen. Okay that. Uh, your frequency is going to be somewhere in between 30 and 50, that's your dot size. The smaller the number, the larger the dot, so 40 is like in between, so I kind of stick there. The angle, 22 and a half is what I use, a lot of people will use 22, it's going to work either way. Same with the shape of the dot. I use an elliptical. Some people like to use a round dot. Personal preference. Okay, that. And you can see already we have our grays turned into half tones here. It's going to look sharp when we get it back over there on the shirt or on the original file. All right, so we're going to control command A to get all that, and we're going to command control C to copy it and jump back over to our original. Click that layer if it's not already clicked and apply a layer mask down here, the rectangle with a circle. Alt option click into that layer mask and paste. Uh, control command V. Com control command D to deselect that. Now just click on the original image over here in that same layer. And boom, your black's gone. Your half tones are in. Now let's create a solid color layer here and drag it below that. And that's what we got. Check it out. So we'll zoom into this flower down here, and you'll see the grayer areas, some of them, have half tones there, the darker gray areas. Same with the snake up here in his neck. This is going to make for an all-around lighter, better feeling, softer feel, more retail looking print than you would have otherwise. And that's all there is to it, man. It's like, what, four or five steps and you're done. So, but let me throw a shameless plug in here for my Essentials mock-up tools. If you have those and you want to showcase your fancy art, 
I'm going to pop open my Gildan 64000 mock-up tool. You can find all those over on promoweapon.com. Check them out. Uh, so we would just change, like, for example, I have every shirt color that, that the 64000 comes in here, which is a bunch. Like, authentic brand colors. This isn't, like, generic stuff here. Took me a long time to put together. Um, so we're going to uncheck the blue shirt color. I'm going to check the black. And above the shirt color chips, you're going to find art in the smart layer. Double click into it. Go back to that file, grab your layer, drag it in. Resize to fit. I like that. Hit enter to commit. You can just turn off that other layer and X that out and save it. And boom. There's our cool looking half toned black knockout print on our cool 64,000 mock up. And that's it, dude. It's like four, four or five steps. And you got this. You can do this. Watch the video twice. You'll be a master. If you have questions, drop a comment. Hit me up in an email at info at promoweapon.com. Head over to Facebook, check it out at Promo Weapon uh, there, and send me a messenger message. I'm here to help you guys. Look, I also sell stuff, but I have to make a living too, you understand? Some people get salty, man. Like if you try to sell something, like how dare you try to sell me something? Like I do this for a hobby and for a job, you know what I mean? So. You don't hate. I don't care if you buy it, but don't hate me for trying to get people to buy it. You know what I mean? And it's really helpful. It's really helpful. I've gotten some good feedback from it. So if, it, if this video has helped you at all, consider subscribing and liking because it's going to help the YouTube algorithm like boost me in the search results. I appreciate you guys being here as always, and I will see you in the next, speaking of the next video. If you want to figure out how to do this on other colored shirts like Green Knockout or Yellow Knockout, that video is coming up next. So stay tuned. Check it out. Thanks. See you guys.